Hi guys, welcome to a Tech Gamer 180 video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you in how to install a Minecraft hack client on Windows 8 up to 8.1. Currently, I'm using Windows 8.1, but the tutorial should be more or less the same. There shouldn't be no difference between Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. The reason I'm doing a, another tutorial on 8.1 is because it's been requested by you guys um, who maybe have Windows 8 or Windows 8.1. And I'm not too sure because my last tutorial was on Windows 7. For you guys who are on Windows 8 or 8.1, I might have got a bit confused. So I thought I might as well do it. I've done all, I've covered most of the rest of the operating systems, so I might as well do Windows 8 slash Windows 8.1. So let's jump into it. So as you can see, I've downloaded my hack client here. This is called Kryptonite, and this is for Minecraft version 1.8. To get your hack client, all you have to do is go onto wizardhacks.com. And as you can see here, these are the latest Minecraft hack clients. So as you can see here, this is the one I've got, Kryptonite. It's a really good client. It's got Optifining, so that's a really nice feature to have in a hack client. And there is a lot to choose from. There's all, as I said last in my last video, all the versions down to about 1.6.2. It might even go beyond that, but that's um, the earliest I've seen on here. But I've not searched all the pages because there is loads of hack clients. To actually download one, all you do is click on the link, then it will take you to the page where if you basically a description of the hack client and what hacks are included in it, and also a video about the actual hack client, a little kind of sort of show off of the hack client. All you do to download it is click on the download button. Once you've downloaded the zip file, you are going to need another program to extract zip file. I'll use WinRAR and I will include WinRAR down below so basically you guys have a program to extract it with so as you can see as soon as you double click on WinRAR you'll get a message basically saying buy a license but you can ignore that because you don't need it all you have to do is press the big X and then it will allow you to extract the folder so as you can see now I've just dragged the folder onto my desktop and that is pretty much it now you can actually delete the zip file and now you are left with the actual kryptonite folder with two files in one is a .jar file and the other is a .json. You don't need to touch any of these. You can pretty much actually exit off this. You don't even need to go into the folder. The only reason I went into the folder is to actually check that it wasn't in a subfolder. That is what some people are having trouble with the most. If it is inside the, if it's inside another folder within a folder, basically take it out. It should only be with basically you should only have one folder and that should contain the .jar and the .json file a lot of people are getting confused on that bit that's why it's not showing up on your versions you'll understand what I'm basically saying a bit later on in the video but this is fine it's only in one folder now that that's okay let's actually move on to installing it so all you do now is open up your documents and go to this top bar on the window and all you do is, is shift 5 app data shift 5 and basically you press enter and now this will take you to your app data folder and the folder what you're looking for inside this is called .minecraft double click on that and then inside this you are looking for a folder called versions and as you can see mine is here and then basically in this folder you will get all of your minecraft versions there may, there may be only one there may be quite a few um, I have already got some hack clients installed, that's why I've got a couple of folders in there. But all you do now is you move that to one side and just drag your hack client of choice over. So as you can see now, Kryptonite is in there and it's basically ready to be set up on Minecraft. So once you've done that now, you can close that window off, you don't need it, and you can basically boot up Minecraft. Once your Minecraft launcher has, on, has opened, what you am going to do is come down to the left corner and basically as you can see you have two options one a edit profile and one a new profile the one what you're going to click is new profile and just basically name this whatever you want you can call it I'm um, just you can call it whatever you want I'm just gonna call it hacks and then once you've named it just move down to the use versions option here and basically look for your hack client it usually says re uh, release name of the hack client so as you can see here mine's come up release kryptonite if it doesn't show up on the list what you have to do is you have to press the allow use of alpha the allow use of beta and basically because the reason for this is because some hack clients are in beta and some may even be in alpha 
and just by selecting these actually makes them show up so once you've done that once you've found your hack client and you've selected it all you're going to do now is click save profile and as you can see now it should show up in the drop down on the left so as you can see hacks has shown up and pretty much all you do now is you press the play button and now it should start running the hacked client So as you can see, mine's booted up perfectly, no crashes or anything like that. Just for this video purpose, I am not going to go on multiplayer. I'm just going to open up a single player world, but it does work on multiplayer. So I've opened up a single player world, and as you can see, you can see it's fully loaded up, nothing's wrong, it just basically looks like normal Minecraft. To actually get the mod menu up, all you do is you have to press your right shift key and as you can see now you get a load of options what you can actually hack so as you can see that there is lots of options in this hack client it's got loads so just to show you that the hack client is working what i'm going to do is enable x-ray and as you can see now x-ray is fully working as you can see you can see through the ground and everything like that so yeah guys that is in that is how to install a hacked minecraft client on Windows 8 up to 8.1 running Minecraft 1.8 so yeah guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like if this helped you and also don't forget to subscribe bye hi yeah tech gamer tech gamer unboxing reviews and an entertainer with tutorials and gameplay he's a technological guy going all the way with frequent videos always coming out click that subscribe button to see what he is all about like the video share it with your friends drop a comment below where you can vent what you love and what you want to see next time so tune in every week for the next time i hope to see you around thanks for watching tech gamer on the rise never stopping